you so much, it hurts. <gasps> but I believe my life right now oh. is normal. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 5, Episode 21 of My Hero Academia, Revival Party. Yes, All right. we are in the My Villain Academia arc. Ah, what a mess. I'm looking forward to seeing what the show creators did when they have this opportunity to like completely inverse the whole show. It's villains now instead of heroes. It's like the other half. Yeah. The other side of the coin. I'm excited to see Shigaraki in like a main character lens. We'll see how Shigaraki's perspective is revealed here. But if you're excited for more episodes of My Villain Academia, make sure to hit like, comment and subscribe down below below for episodes coming every Sunday and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, along with episodes of Solo Leveling, Jujutsu Kaisen, Invincible, and uh, Demon Slayer. All right, are we excited for episode 21 of My Hero Academia Season 5? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! When superpowers first appeared, it was chaos. People across the planet had to find <laughs> peaceful ways to adapt to a new reality. Eventually, yeah, that an ideology started circulating among metahumans. Not quirk suppression, but liberation. Many believed the freedom to use meta abilities was a natural right. Especially Chikara Yotsubashi. He called himself Destro, the man who would destroy the present. In his Destro. time, he brought together like minded people and formed like destroy, the Metahuman Liberation but Army. After confronting the them and struggling okay. against them, they were defeated. Members were arrested, and the organization was thought to be dissolved. Destro ended up writing a book in prison before committing suicide. When he left this world, Destro had no idea that he had a child, an heir. Oh. How are things progressing? We managed to track down someone who has solid connections to the League. If we're going to approach them, the sooner the better. They're enemies of the Liberation Army. If the okay. government continues to stand idly by, we have no choice but to deal with them ourselves. We will take down the League of Villains in Destro's name. So he's Destro's heir. Perfect. All right. What do you make of that? His name is Destroy with no Y. Yeah, I never put that. I never thought of it that way. Like, mm -hmm. I, you might be right, but like, I never, yeah, took the name to represent his promise to destroy the status quo. Okay. So yeah, Destro comes from the word destroy. All right. Okay. What is in that book? Um, We've seen a little bit of it, but mainly in terms of Endeavor finding sort of like the hints in there, but mm -hmm. it is sort of the philosophy of yeah. them. I hadn't really thought of like the world's reaction of going from no superheroes to, or like no superpowers to suddenly having powers. Like that idea is such an uncommon thing in shows that have powers. Is there a word for that? Like shows that- Superhero shows. Okay. But even if they're bad guys, I just mean like people with powers. What do you mean even if they're bad guys? Like the boys of the superhero show. Okay, cool, 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 cool. The, it, it's actually not, there is one person that has a similar philosophy to Destro in a sense, which is Magneto. I don't know if you've ever heard of Magneto. Um, he's an X-Man and he believes like all X-Men should be able to use their powers freely. Welcome to the suburbs. Completely unremarkable. I like the atmosphere. This place sucks. <laughs> There's a force 110,000 strong below. Once Makia wakes up in an hour and 40 minutes, he'll chase Shigaraki to this stage. When he makes his entrance, he'll run into the so-called Liberation Army. Hopefully, we last until the curtain call. How did I get tricked into going along with such a stupid plan? Giren introduced you to the League, too? What's that matter? You bastard. Someone's coming! A friend approaches! 
I've been Commander Jack as your guide today, so if you want to speak to our esteemed leader, you can follow my lead. A hero? <laughs> you can just slide places. Uh, Alright. We've seen him Wait, so before. a hero found them to help them? Uh, so Destro has like a whole group of people that, sorry, the guy who is running Destro's empire. The right one who now. looks like Doofenshmirtz. That's yes. More, okay, he cool. has 110,000 people, both heroes, villains, anybody that all believe in this meta liberation warfront thing. I see. So pretty much the only qualification that you need to be a part of his group is have a superpower. Gotcha. So there's a lot of like moles that are a part of it. Okay. We saw when Hawks went to visit them, remember he's in front of the council, like talking to them. Mm hmm slide and go met him at the door gotcha yeah there's nobody here <laughs> it's a funny power you really can't take it seriously I can't. yeah it's the whole city right you are <laughs> this is a liberated district 90 percent of deka city's population is hidden liberation warriors we appreciate you traveling so far to meet us face to face. We so they pretty much own the city. Arrival. Okay. You are the guest Wait, sorry, I have honor. a question. Yep. So the heroes are allowed to use their powers, and the students at UA High are allowed to use their powers. Only if they have a work license. But, okay, so their issue... Okay, so the, the Meta Liberation Army is wanting just completely unlicensed... Just like any powers single to person occur. who has their power to be able to go use them however they want. And that is just not the case now. Even heroes have to use them in a hero-like setting. Todoroki riding an ice wave to school. Like, he can't do that. Oh, like, I see. Okay, I was like, thinking, like, actually, like, robbing a bank. I'm like, okay, that's... No, they're that's saying... been not allowed. They're saying, like, um, if you have a power, you have a God-given right to use it, so you should be able to use it whenever you want, wherever you want, like, walking or gotcha. running. Like, like, no regulation. No regulation I whatsoever. I see. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. We'll hear more about their philosophy mm -hmm. for us. We celebrate your arrival. You are the so guests like of honor. Villain. Isn't that Hanabata from the Hearts and Mind Party? He important? Now let the festivities begin. Welcome in, new friends. To our revival party! They weren't lying about their numbers. It doesn't matter. We are here. Where's Garen? You must mean the broker. He's with our Grand Commander. I'm sure he's being entertained. Didn't you say you'd give him back if we came? Greasy bastard! Oh. Mini-boss, huh? Head for the tower. Killed them all. Oh my goodness. Her deathbed confessions will leave the world shocked. I must interview you. <laughs> no. A reporter? Hmm. Good okay. Guess. You made two mistakes. First, you're treating an old man as the damsel in distress, which is embarrassing for everybody. Second, if they let a bioengineered Nomu loose, your people here don't stand a chance against it. They won't be releasing any of those monsters. There are three reasons. Seems I'm more informed than you. One, ever since Kamino, we haven't seen any widespread use of the creatures, even though the League is still active in carrying out plots. Two, there's that high-performance Nomu that appeared in Kyushu. What's most important those things are is scary. the Nomu that the Black One discharged. That's what I'm interested in. Even though they played around with some humans, they didn't seem to possess extraordinary power. And three. The only reason I'm here is to retrieve my fallen Nomu. Tabi said he was collecting the Black One, which means they don't have a surplus of other Nomu that could be employed to take the powerful one's place. From this, I can deduce some things. Nomu are support goons from their patron, All for One, and it's clear they don't have enough. They're having to ration the monsters that made them viable opponents. A league of villains that can't use Nomu is nothing more than a social club. Yeah. They're kind of outnumbered, huh. our gun. Yeah. Every one of them is strong. No fair. 
The Reserve Liberation Warriors train each day in preparation for the future, repeatedly drilling their bodies and minds in order to live their best and most authentic lives. A lot of people wonder why the hell this guy sticks with his life when he's a spray bottle. He's literally a living spray bottle. Well... You get the hand you're dealt, but <laughs> dang, that is a bad one. That kind of sucks. Minds ...in order to live their best and most authentic lives. That's why you're such a nuisance. Look at the news. You came later and have no great cause, and yet you're famous. You fascinating girl. It sounds They're like jealous you of their fame. The mm -hmm. That's a pity. I threw away all restraint toward my interviewees a long time ago. So, little one. I'll have you bear your soul to me now. The public's interest in the league is one thing, but you're a different headline. The schoolgirl with a mind full of violence. It's a catchy tag, don't you think? My blood's pumping like my first day on the field. Oh my oh. god. No wonder they can't catch that girl. Where'd she go? <laughs> You went straight for the jugular with no hesitation. I have to know what horrors in your past made you turn out this way. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Oh, be careful where you're landing. Our forces will show no mercy. If you want to stay alive longer, then you'll have to do the interview. She does a Kizuki, MLA code name, curious, meta ability, landmine. She can turn anything she touches into a bomb. Oh. They're not too lethal, but she has lots of them. I find it so fascinating when people's powers don't line up with like their whole bit. Yeah. Syringes. So that's how you do it. Your ability lets you see. You see what she did? No. She connected into all of them and then put a mask on so she's drinking. Oh, gross. Being able to mimic them is a skill. But you also possess instincts and talent that the average murderer doesn't have. The audience will want to know how you fell into this slasher life. The blood exploded. Oh. By the way, don't even think of transforming and hiding yourself. There are warriors within our ranks who are more than willing to become bombs for the cause. So, at 17, you're the oldest daughter of the Toga family, born August 7th, last seen at your middle school graduation. Did you catch the candid interview with your parents? And they spoke to your class. Holy shit. Team. She just mined Everyone everything. Said the same. She was a cheerful and obedient child always. So how'd you end up here? That seems... When did things first go off? So what happened? Like her. Why did you throw away a normal life? what happened you feel so much pain but instead of observing it i want to hear it from you directly kizuki you won't grab the hearts of the masses with clinical words such as these dusty facts and hearsay aren't what will draw people to our cause conduct interviews look at the faces of your subjects in order to guide public opinion you must appeal to emotion first and foremost <laughs> I will convince the public of your story. It's all for the Liberation Army. All you have to do is tell me how you went insane! They threw away a normal life? What is that? An iconic face. She's like a doll. You're finally opening up to me. The Liberation Army is trying to build a wonderful world. So I love you. I love you so much it hurts. <laughs> but I believe my life right now oh. is normal. So this is All her right. normal. Sources tell us that the middle schooler who mauled her classmate, injuring him badly, is still on the run. No motivation for the attack has been offered. Toga was always smiling and friendly. I still can't believe she'd do something so brutal. I saw her. Toga. She stuck a straw into Saito's wound. It was like she was in a trance. So good. She... She had the most repulsive look of bliss on her face. We're Yuck. so terribly sorry. We did our best, but we obviously failed. That child is a demon. Mommy? 
Think you're normal? An interesting thought. Tell me, is this your true face? <laughs> I knew it. My instincts are as sharp as ever. You are Her the true face of a repressed superhuman society. <laughs> Poor lost child. You're ragged inside and out. An unfortunate soul who sacrificed herself through the suppression of your meta powers. That is who you are, correct? You pitiful girl. Because of the meta ability you have, you grew up obscenely fascinated by blood. Oh. Her powers bring oh. blood. But do you know who is to blame? This world. What you felt was completely natural. You were interested in blood, but Holy society shit. couldn't comprehend that. It's not your fault the world wasn't ready to accept you. That's why you put a lid on your desires, suppressing yourself, wearing a mask over your true identity. Stop it! What are you doing? Quit smiling like that! It's so creepy. You look like a deviant. Why oh god. Why can't you just be a regular girl? Why can't you be normal? You shut your mouth! Get your ass patented chain ring! Curious oh. Wagner! There's no difference between your normal and the liberation How is she not soul. dead? They're one and the same. This is the ultimate truth they're, of the liberation. It was said in her quirk explanation, they're not lethal explosions. Oh. Okay. They're just I not that, that powerful. But before you keep going, what do you make of the idea Holy of like shit. it's not her fault? Like her saying, "Well, you've just been repressed by society. Like your meta power makes you interested in drinking blood." Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some truth to that. You can't expect a child who has been given a superpower that's blood related to be exactly like kids who don't have that. And like, yeah, it's creepy, but it's like inherent to her. And, and this gets at an interesting detail of this story, which I've not been mentioning until this part, which mm -hmm. I feel like I want to mention now. Take a look at all the people. I think we've talked about it briefly, but everybody, their quirk influences their personality. 100%. More so, like, it's not necessarily like a, oh, sugar man likes to bake just because he like needs to have sugar. It's mm -hmm. like, no, it's just in his nature to do that because he's sugar powered. Mm -hmm. It's like nature versus nurture type 100%. thing. 100%. Yeah. And how they influence each other. Which, yeah. Isn't that fascinating? That is so cool. And it really yeah. makes you think about all the different people and how they influence. Like, think about Bakugo. Exactly. Think about, like, Endeavor. Mm hmm Think about T Shigaraki. Yeah. Like, it's... You know what occurred to me the other day? I was going to put a counter on uh, Shigaraki at that moment where he didn't have the hands, like, at the beginning of the season mm -hmm. where we just saw that clip. And I was going to put Shigaraki growth counters and, like, he grew in a way, but, you know, he didn't actually grow. What's the opposite of growth? shrank decay oh which is his Sick. quirk okay which yeah, is yeah interesting very cool like, yeah okay like i organically came to that i was like wow nice love yeah. that Let's okay Curious <laughs> right to the no face yikes your normal and the liberation army's goal they're one and the same this so that's the, the difference mm -hmm. that's what the liberation army's ideals. that's what they want your life will be written about in our modern day holy book oh, as a wow. shining example of that truth. Please tell me if my thoughts seem incomplete in any way. If not, this interview won't be finished. I can't have a subject this good die before their final words. <gasps> no! <laughs> Where will you run to? The League cannot overpower us! I don't like her. Doesn't she get that I love my life? When I'm happy... I smile big. Oh. Wait, I thought she said she loved her. Did she not? She loves her at first, but I think this new conversation of her saying like, "Gotcha, now we're you're off repressed. That. You're not okay. You're not normal." Gotcha. All right. When I'm happy, I smile big. You may kiss someone you like, but my way is different. I suck the blood of those I love. She turned into a rocker. Oh, wow. It only allows you to change your appearance. You must want to look cute at the end. 
What a beautiful tragedy! The last bit of blood I had. What a fucking weirdo. Izuku trusts her, so I was saving it. Lucky. Must be nice. I want to get close to someone I love too. Please give me your story! Oh, just she used floated her away. She used the power also. Yep. That's new, right? When I pretended to be a high school girl, the world became kinder. Don't get caught. Keep on moving. Don't get caught. Am I using Ochako's park? What? Yep. An informant said she could only change her physical appearance. Since when? Just now. Just now. Oh, wow. Holy sh- Oh, God. Oh, this is so much worse. Okay. What do you make of that? Wow. Wow. I cannot even fathom how much more powerful she just got. Yeah. Isn't that insane? That's insane. Like, she might be the most powerful person in the show now. Whoa, that's that's pretty huge to say. What if makes she, you say that? Because if she took the blood of the most powerful person in the show, she now has that power plus whatever else she has going on. Like, if her whole thing is that she can emulate power now, apparently. So can Monoma. He has to copy the quirk. He has to touch them, and then he can have five minutes of their quirk. Okay, yeah, so touching and then having five minutes. Those are two limiters. It Hers is get the get blood, the blood. And she has a short amount of time. Okay, I forgot about the time component. Yeah, see, it melted off her right quickly. Gotcha, and the okay. The more blood she has, the more time she gets. But the thing that's more, imp like, you're right, that it is a very powerful quirk now. But the thing to really look at is it evolved. Like, yeah. This is the first time we've seen a quirk sort of, besides Deku, sort of just like, I mean, Deku's didn't evolve. He's got a new yeah, quirk. He just got a new one, but that this was like a, a quirk like a changing. Yeah, but not just changing, like building off of it. Yeah. I mean, the idea that that's theoretically possible for everyone in the show is very interesting. I'm curious about what prompted it because the reporter lady said it was like she conquered the fear of death. And she was on, she was on the brink of death. Yeah. yeah, I didn't super get that Toga had a big fear of death. I mean, I don't think she wants to die. No, but there's a big difference between being afraid of something and not wanting something. Work evolution. Yeah. And she was even shocked by it. Yeah. She killed all of them. Wow. Where is she? I'm a mess. Just like Izuku was. It's better not to kill. Leave them to the big guy. Off-brand? The things we hate should be destroyed. Right, Tomura? I'm sleeping. Whose shed is she in? A random one. Okay. She just, like, went there and collapsed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes stuff looks like it's moving <laughs> and it's not. You hallucinate things that aren't there. Like you're being overwhelmed with information. I know that my body's glitchy right now. What's this? Another flashback. I don't recall this happening. All I remember is how I felt at the time. A conscious flashback is insane. Where his grandmother is, mm -hmm. all my master. Yeah.
Oh. Is there something wrong with my eyes? Just now, it looked like his decay spread even though he didn't touch all of them. Jesus Christ. Did you? If our leader's sparing their lives, then I'll have some fun too. I've never been good at not- Oh boy. He didn't touch Dude, all of them. He touched no. one and it spread. And it, yeah. Eyes, huh? what a okay, so lots. So nice job sneaking up on me, even though you're. I don't want to say a lot of people are leveling up, but like it's been none, and now it's two in an episode. So that's a yep, thrill. a significant nice increase. Job sneaking up on me, even though you're a tank. I should what warn is you that I've gotten pretty strong lately, upped all of my abilities. Which is how I know you're tough. Dobby, wielder of the blue flame. The only person in the league with a ranged attack. Why won't you use your fire right away? Are you waiting for me to strike or is there something wrong with your meta ability? Who is this? Do you know? No. Okay. To learn. It's a complicated concept, but I guess I'll teach you. I smelt! <laughs> Are you absolutely certain about that? Not if it's dry ice. He could troll her. Not even taking time for my studies. Training much longer than any hero or filler for that matter. The Grand Commander helped me push my limits. Holy shit. Sounds like a wonderful life, you idiot. Now die! Don't think flames as weak as that would have packed my creations. Oh, my goodness. Damn it. That's Don't very cool. Stage. Everyone's been split up. Let's see. Tabi is over there. Shigaraki and Spinner were together. Toga ran ahead and is missing. Worse twice. He was here a second ago. No way. It's true. You ran off somewhere alone, and I was worried. Totally calm. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what happened? Toga. Twice is so funny. Real? It is. I can't believe someone can feel this cold. Crap, she's burning up. She's Shut dead? It. No. How can I? There's okay. blood everywhere. Is she breathing? Yes. No. Her face is a mess. Is it the enemy's blood? No, it's hers. Don't worry, I'll wipe it off for you. Remember this? It's the handkerchief you gave me. Give it up. This girl's about to die. No. You have to oh. live. You're where I belong. You make the legal oh. place we want to be. You're the Yikes. only one who needed this failed human being. Damn it! I'll kill them. Twice has found mm. Toga. They're having a, a bit of crisis. It seems like it, the yeah. And then alive. who appeared? We need to make sure she's dead for Curious's feature. Gene More good. Mm -hmm. Twice meta ability double. In a sense, he's the complete opposite of Toga. He made copies of himself, was almost killed by those duplicates, and lost his own sense of self in the process. To live your intended life, you liberated your meta powers. Wow. That resulted in a wounded soul. Four of his doubles. Holy shit, okay. Tomoyasu Chigazoku, MLA codename, skeptic, meta ability, anthropomorph. He can change things with about the same mass as humans, like bridges or desks, into sentient puppets. With your abilities oh ahead, boy. No matter what happens to That's got to be horrifying to experience. Back. We will not repeat the tragedy of Destro. So now are you starting to get it? Such great power. It's time that you begin to understand your own worth. I will persuade you to join the Liberation Army. Yeah, you know it's a great way to get people on your <laughs> side is send a bunch of fucking weirdos after them. Yeah, especially when they look just like him. Yeah. But uh, that is where we are left for episode 21 of My Academia Season 5. My arms, it hurts. I'm not disappearing. Oh. You really Whoa! He can be the original now. Stop! What are your first thoughts? Wow, I that was a great episode. There were a lot of big ideas that were just introduced. I'm yeah. still kind of stuck on the quirk upgrade. Yeah. Thing and if that could possibly be like manufactured. 
Yeah. Pretty terrifying to think of uh, both those quirk upgrades. Correct. Yeah. We're going to have to see uh, what that leads to, but thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for more My Hero coming every Sunday and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait, I want to see these episodes right now. They're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to our uh, discussion where we talk about uh, questions that are given to us by our p amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, question one. Victor asks, after seeing this episode, how has your thoughts on Toga changed? Do you still see her as just a crazy psycho, or can you begin to understand that for her, she is what she considers normal? Also, where do you think the main message of her arc slash story is heading? Yeah, my perspective on Toga has definitely changed quite a bit, especially after thinking about like her as a kid just expressing like a very normal interest for her, and then to be so like just shamed and othered by her family. It kind of makes everything about her make sense. I think she's making an important distinction between what's normal for like a standard human in society versus what is normal for a child born with a quirk in a universe where quirks are a very recent development and everyone's is different. And so I think- It's been a while since quirks came in. Yes, but still just generally the idea that it wasn't always this way yeah. like like there's a component of continuity that makes people just kind of go along with things but if you know that there's been a time before it just makes it more complicated and then i'm not sure where they're gonna go with her arc exactly but i think it's gonna be something that's used as an example for what happens when you don't support a child with a weird or creepy quirk whether that's something that she advocates for herself after like coming out on the other side of it, or if she just becomes the absolute worst to the degree that everyone kind of has to pay attention and go, oh my God, how did this happen? And the answer is not supporting a kid with a weird quirk. Uh, yeah, th that kind of leads into my second question, Oh yeah, which is Marco Bell Jaden asks, in the My Hero Academia universe, it seems that everyone who has a quirk is born with an instinct that makes them not only want to use, ooh, I need to take my meds. In the My Hero Academia universe, it seems that everyone who is born with a quirk is born with an instinct that makes them want to use those quirks and not allowing them to use their quirk might lead to them going insane. Now, this isn't an issue with people who do not have harmful quirks since no one will complain about, let's say, Ida running in a park or something, but it is a problem when coming to someone who has harmful quirks like Toga who can't help but drink other people's blood. So do you think that quirk regulations should take that into consideration when it comes to quirk restriction laws, or would that be unfair and instead everyone should be treated the same regardless of their quirks? I think with such a variety of quirks, it would be massively unfair to treat everyone exactly the same. And that's kind of, yeah, that's what Toga is a bit of a product of. Yeah. What that question kind of reminded me of is when people get like a really high drive working dog and then don't let it do the thing that it was bred to do. Like people will get like a healer or a herding dog and then when it runs around them in circles and bites at their heels, they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, and then those dogs end up going insane and eating your couch. So and they're like, why are you eating my couch? And it's like, well, if you let it herd the way that it wanted to and gave it an outlet and taught it how to use it in a way that was productive and helpful, then maybe they wouldn't be eating your couch. But so the proverbial toga eating the couch is kind of her. Sorry, the, the her, what toga's <laughs> up to is kind of like her eating a couch. Exactly. You know? Her just being incredibly destructive and dangerous and unpredictable and problematic because she wasn't given a structure or any kind of help or support when she was young and developing those powers. Yeah, I think that's a great answer. And uh, that is where we are left for episode 21 of season five of My Hero. Are we excited for episode 22? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.